नमस्ते माई सेल्फ अंकिता श्रेया प्रसाद एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू अलॉन्ग विथ आ एन सी आर टी इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ ऑडियो वीडियो बुक प्रजेंटेड बाई आर्ट्स किल पैशन चैप्टर एट सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ वेन यू लुक अराउंड यू सी बोथ लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स यू मस्ट हैव वर्नर एंड एस यूर सेल्फ वॉट इज इट दैट मेक्स एन ऑर्गेनिज्म लिविंग और वॉट इज इट दैट एन इनाटिमेट थिंग्स डज नॉट हैव विच अ लिविंग थिंग्स एस द आंसर टू दिस इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ द सेल इन ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स All organisms are composed of cells. Some are composed of a single cell and are called unicellular organisms, which others like us composed of many cells are called multicellular organisms. 8.1 What is a cell? Unicellular organisms are capable of first independent existence and second performing the essential functions of life anything less than a complete structure of a cell does not ensure independent living hence cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organisms anton van leeuwenhoek first saw and described a leaf cell robert brown later discovered the nucleus the invention of microscope and its improvement leading to the electron microscope revealed all the structural details of the cell 8.2 cell theory in 1838 mathes schildian and german botanist examined a large number of plants and observed that all plants are composed of different kinds of cells which form the tissues of the plant at about the same time theodore straven 1839 a british zoologist studies different types of animal cells and reported that cells had a thin outer layer which is today known as plasma membrane he also concluded based on his studies on plant tissues that the presence of cell wall is a unique character of the plant cells On the basis of this, Shavan posed that the hypothesis that the bodies of animals and plants are composed of cells and produce products of cells. Shildian and Shavan together formulated the cell theory. This theory, however, did not explain as to how new cells were formed. Rudolf Virchow, 1855, first explained that the cell divided and a new cell are formed from pre-existing cells only cellula e cellulae he modified that hypothesis of shieldian and shavan to give the cell theory of a final shape cell theory as understood today is first all living organisms is composed of a cell and produce products of cells second all cells arises from pre-existing cells 8.3 an overview of cell you have earlier observed cells in an onion peel and or human cheek cell under the microscope let us recollect their structure the onion cell which is a typical plant cell has a distinct cell wall as its outer boundary and just within it is called the membrane The cells of the human cheek have an outer membrane as the limiting structure of the cell. Inside each cell is a dense membrane bound structure called nucleus. This nucleus contains the chromosomes which in turn contain the genetic material DNA. Cells that have membrane bound nuclei are called eukaryotic whereas cells that lack a membrane bound nucleus are prokaryotic. In both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells a semi fluid matrix called cytoplasm occupies the volume of the cell the cytoplasm is the main area of cellular activities in both the plant and animal cells 
various chemical reactions occur in it to keep the cell in the living state. Beside the nucleus, the eukaryotic cells have other membrane-bound dextrin structure called organelles like the endoplasmic reticulum ER. The Golgi complex, lysosomes, mitochondria, microbodies and vacuoles. The prokaryotic cells lack such membrane-bound organelles. Ribosomes are non-membranous bound organelles found in all cells both eukaryotic as well as prokaryotic. Within the cell, ribosomes are found not only in the cytoplasm but also within the two organelles. Chloroplast in plants and mitochondria and on rough endoplasmic reticulum. Animal cells contain another non-membrane bound organelle called centrosome which helps in cell division. Cells differ greatly in size, shape and activities. Figure 8.1 For example, mycoplasms. The smallest cells are only 0.3 micrometer in length while bacteria could be 3 to 5 micrometer. The largest isolated single cell is the egg of an ostrich among multicellular organisms. Human red blood cells are about 7.0 micrometer in diameter. Nerve cells are some of the longest cells. Cells also varies greatly in their shapes. They may be disc-like, polygonal, columnar, cuboidal, thread-like or even irregular. The shape of the cell may vary with the function they perform. 8.4 Prokaryotic cells The prokaryotic cells are represented by bacteria, blue-green algae, microplasma and PPLO, pleuro-pneumonia-like organisms. They are generally smaller and multiplying more rapidly than the eukaryotic cells. Figure 8.2 They may vary greatly in shape and size. The four basic shapes of bacteria are bacillus, rod-like, caucus, spiracal, Vibrio, comma shaped, and spiralum, spiral. The organization of the prokaryotic cell is fundamentally similar, even though prokaryotes exhibit a wide variety of shape and functions. All prokaryotes have a cell wall surrounding the cell membrane, except in mycoplasma. The fluid matrix filling the cell is the cytoplasm. There is no well-defined nucleus. The genetic material is basically naked, not enveloped by a nuclear membrane. In addition to the genomic DNA, the single chromosome circular DNA. Many bacteria have small circular DNA outside the genomic DNA. These smaller DNA are called plasmids. The plasmid DNA confers certain unique phenotopic characters to such bacteria. One such character is resistant to antibiotics in higher classes. You will learn that this plasmid's DNA is used to monitor bacterial transformation with foreign DNA. Nuclear membrane is found in eukaryotes. No organelles like the ones in eukaryotes are found in prokaryotic cells except for ribosomes. Prokaryotes have something unique in the form of inclusions. A specialized differentiator from the cell membrane or called mesosome is characteristic of prokaryotes. They are essentially infloodings of cell membrane. Figure 8.2 Diagram showing comparison of eukaryotic cell with other organisms. 8.4.1 Cell envelope and its modifications. Most prokaryotic cells, particularly the bacterial cells, have a chemically complex cell wall envelope. The cell envelope consists of a tightly bound three layer structure that is the outermost glycolax followed by the cell wall and then the plasma membrane. Although each layer of the envelope performs the distinct function, they act 
together as a single protective unit. Bacteria can be classified into two groups on the basis of differences in the cell envelopes and the manner in which they respond to the staining procedure developed by Gram that is those that take up the Gram stain and Gram positive and others that do not are called Gram negative bacteria. Glycolax differ in composition and thickness among the different bacteria. It could be a loose shell called the slime layer in some, while in others it may be thick and tough called the capsule. The cell wall determines the shape of the cell and provides a strong structural support to prevent the bacterium from bursting or collapsing. The plasma membrane is selectively permeable in nature and interacts with the outside world. The membrane is similar structurally to that of the eukaryotes. A special membrane structure is the mesosome which is formed by the extension of plasma membrane into the cell. These extensions are in the form of vessels, tubules and lamellae. They help in cell wall formation, DNA replication and distribution to daughter cells. They also help in respiration, secretion process to increase the surface area of the plasma membrane and enzymatic content. In some prokaryotes like canobacteria, there are other membranous extension in the cytoplasm called chromatophores which contain pigments. Bacterial cells may be motile or non-motile. If motile, they have thin filamentous extensions from the cell wall called flagella. Bacteria shows a range in the number and arrangement of flagella. Bacterial flagellum is composed of three parts, filament, hook and basal body. The filament is the longest portion and extends from the cell surface to the outside. Besides flagella, pili and fimbriae are also surface structures of the bacteria but do not play a role in motility. The pili are elongated tubular structures made of a special protein. The fimbriae are small crystal like fibers sprouting out of the cell. In some bacteria, they are known to help attach the bacteria to rocks in streams and also to the host tissues. 8.4.2 Ribosomes and Inclusion Bodies in prokaryotes, ribosomes are associated with the plasma membrane of the cell. They are about 15 nm by 20 nm in size and are made of two subunits, 50s and 30s units, which when present together from 70s prokaryotic ribosomes. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. Several ribosomes may attach to a single mRNA and form a chain called polyribosomes or polysome. The ribosomes of a polysome translate the mRNA into proteins. Inclusion bodies Reserve material in prokaryotic cells are stored in the cytoplasm. In the form of inclusion bodies, these are not bound by any membrane system and life free in cytoplasm example phosphate granules canophysiane granules and glycon granules gas vacuoles are found in blue green and purple and green photosynthetic bacteria 8.5 eukaryotic cells the eukaryotes include all the protists plants animals and fungi in eukaryotic cells, there is an extensive compartmentalization of cytoplasm through the presence of membrane brown organelles. Eukaryotic cells possess an organized nucleus with a nuclear envelope. In addition, eukaryotic cells have a variety of complex locomotory and cytoskeletal structures. Their genetic material is organized into chromosomes. All eukaryotic cells are not identical. 
plant and animal cells are different as the former possesses cell walls plastids and a large central vacuole which are absent in animal cells on the other hand animal cells have centrioles which are absent in the almost plant cells figure 8.3 Figure 8.3 diagram showing a plant cell b animal cells let us now look at individual cell organelles to understand their structure and functions 8.5.1 cell membrane the detailed structure of membrane was studied only after the advent of the electron microscope in the 1950s Meanwhile chemical studies on the cell membrane especially in human red blood cells RBCs enabled the scientists to deduce the possible structure of plasma membrane These studies showed that the cell membrane is mainly composed of lipids and proteins The major lipids are phospholipids that are arranged in a bilayer Also the lipids are arranged within the membrane with the polar head towards the outer sides and the hydrophobic tails towards the inner part this ensures that the non polar tail of saturated hydrocarbons is protected from the aqueous environment figure 8.4 in addition to phospholipids membrane also contain cholesterol later biochemical Investigation clearly revealed that the cell membrane also possesses protein and carbohydrate. The ratio of protein and lipid varies considerably in different cell types. In human beings, the membrane of the erythrocyte has approximately 52% protein and 40% lipids. Depending on the ease of extraction, the membrane proteins can be classified as integral and peripheral peripheral protein lie on the surface of membrane while the integral proteins are partially or totally buried in the membrane figure 8.4 fluid mosaic model of plasma membrane an improved model of structure of cell membrane was proposed by singer and nicholson 1972 widely accepted as fluid mosaic model figure 8.4 according to this the fasci fluid nature of lipid enables lateral movement of proteins within the overall bilayer this ability to move within the membrane is measured as its fluidity the fluid nature of the membrane is also important from the point of view of functions like cell growth formation of intercellular junction secretion endocytosis cell division etc one of the most important functions of the plasma membrane is the transport of the molecules across it the membrane is selectively permeable to some molecules present on either side of it many molecules can move briefly across the membrane without any requirement of energy and this is called the passive transport neutral solutes may move across the membrane by the process of simple diffusion along the concentration gradient that is from higher concentration to the lower water may also move across this membrane from higher to lower concentration movement of water by diffusion is called osmosis as the polar molecules cannot pass through the non polar lipid bilayer they require a carrier protein of the membrane to facilitate their transport across the membrane a few ions or molecules are transported across the membrane against their concentration gradient that is from lower to the higher concentration such a transport is an energy dependent process in which atp is utilized and is called active transport example na plus and k plus pump 8.5.2 cell wall as you may recall a non living rigid structure called the cell wall forms an outer covering for the plasma membrane of fungi and plants 
सेल वॉल नॉट ओनली गिव शेप टू द सेल एंड प्रोटेक्ट द सेल फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल डैमेज एंड इन्फेक्शन इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन सेल टू सेल इंटरक्शन एंड प्रोवाइड बैरियर टू अनडिजायरेबल माइक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑलगे हैव सेल वॉल मेड अप ऑफ सेल्यूलोस गैलेक्टन्स मैनानल्स एंड मिनरल्स लाइक कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट वाइल इन अदर प्लांट्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेल्यूलोस हेमी सेल्यूलोस पेक्टिन्स एंड प्रोटीन्स द सेल वॉल ऑफ अ एंग प्लांट सेल द प्राइमरी वॉल इज केपेबल ऑफ ग्रोथ विद ग्रेजुअली डिमिनिशियस एज द सेल मेच्यूज एंड द सेकेंडरी वॉल इज फॉर्म ऑन द इनर towards membrane side of the cell the middle lamina is a layer mainly of calcium pectate which holds or glues the different neighboring cells together the cell wall and middle lamella may be transferred by plasmodes mater which connect the cytoplasm of neighboring cells 8.5.3 by each of the membranous organelles is distinct in terms of its structure and functions many of these are considered together as an endomembrane system because the functions are coordinated the endomembrane system includes endoplasmic reticulum er golgi complex lysosomes and vacuoles since the function of the mitochondria chloroplast and peroxisomes are not coordinated with the above components these are not considered as part of the endomembrane system 8.5.3.1 the endoplasmic reticulum er electron microscopic studies of eukaryotic cells reveal the presence of a network of reticulum of tiny tubular structure scattered in the cytoplasm that is called the endoplasmic reticulum er figure 8.5 endoplasmic reticulum hence er divides the intercellular space into two distinct compartments that is luminal inside er and extra luminal cytoplasm compartments the er often shows lysosomes attached to their outer surface The endoplasmic reticulum bearing lysosomes on their surface is called rough endoplasmic reticulum RER in the presence of ribosomes they appear smooth and are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum SER RER is frequently observed in the cell activity involved in protein synthesis and secretion they are extensive and continuous with the outer membrane of the nucleus the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the major site for synthesis of lipids in animal cells lipids like steroidal hormones are synthesized in ser 8.5.3.2 golgi apparatus camillo golgi 1898 first observed densely stained reticular structure near the nucleus these were later named golgi bodies after him they consist of many flat disc shaped sacs or cisternae of 0.5 micrometer to 1.0 micrometer diameter figure 8.6 these are stacked parallel to each other varied numbers of cisternae are present in a golgi complex the golgi cisternae are concentrically arranged near the nucleus with distinct convexes or forming face and concave trans or the maturing face the cis and the trans faces of the organelle are entirely different but interconnected the golgi apparatus principally performs the function of packaging material to be delivered either to the intracellular targets or secreted outside the cell materials to be packed in the form of vessels form the er fuse with the cis face of the golgi apparatus and move towards the maturing phase this explains why the golgi apparatus remain in close association with the endoplasmic reticulum 
a number of proteins synthesized by ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum are modified in the cisternae of Golgi apparatus before they are released from its trans phase. Golgi apparatus is the most important size of formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids. 8.5.3.3 Lysosomes These are membrane-bound vascular structures formed by the process of packaging in the Golgi apparatus. The isolated lysosomal vessels have been found to be very rich in almost all types of hydrolytic enzymes. Hydrolases, lipase, protease, carbohydrates optimally active at the acidic pH. These enzymes are capable of digesting carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and nucleic acids. 8.5.3.4 Vacuoles The vacuole is the membrane-bound space found in the cytoplasm. It contains water, sap, excretory products and other materials not used for the cell. The vacuole is bound by a single membrane called tonoplast. In plant cells, the vacuoles can occupy up to 90% of the volume of the cell. In plants, the tonoplast facilitates the transport of numbers of ions and other materials against concentration gradients into the vacuole. Hence, their concentration is slightly significantly higher in vacuole than in cytoplasm. In amoeba, the contractile vacuole is important for osmoregulation and excretion. In many cells, as in protest, food vacuoles are formed by engulfing the food particles. 8.5.4 Mitochondria Mitochondria singular Mitochondrion, unless specifically stained, are not easily visible under the microscope. The number of mitochondria per cell is variable depending on the physiological activity of the cells. In terms of shape and size also, considerable degree of variability is observed. Typically, it is sausage shaped or cylindrical having a diameter of 0.2 to 1.0 micrometer, average of 0.5 micrometer and length 1.0 to 4.1 micrometer. Each mitochondrion is a double membrane bound structure with the outer membrane and the inner membrane dividing its lumen distinctly into two aqueous compartments that is the outer compartment and the inner compartment the inner compartment is filled with a dense homogeneous substance called the matrix the outer membrane forms the continuous limiting boundary of the organelle the inner membrane forms a number of infoldings called the crystal singular crista towards the matrix figure 8.7 the cristae increases the surface area. The two membranes have their own specific enzymes associated with the mitochondrial function. Mitochondria are the sites of aerobic respiration. They produce cellular energy in the form of ATP. Hence, they are called powerhouses of the cell. The matrix also possesses singular circular DNA molecule, a few RNA molecules ribosomes 70s and the components required for the synthesis of proteins the mitochondria divide by fusion 8.5.5 plastids plastids are found in all plant cells and in euglenoids these are easily observed under the microscope as they are large they bear some specific pigments thus imparting specific colors to the plants based on the Type of pigments, plastids can be classified into chloroplast, chromoplast, and leucoplast. The chloroplast contain chlorophyll and carotenoid pigments, which are responsible for trapping light energy essential for photosynthesis. In the chromoplast, flat soluble carotenoid pigments like carotene, xanthophylls, and other are present. This gives the part of the plant a yellow, orange or red color. The leucoplasts are the 
colorless plastics of varied shapes and sizes which store nutrients. Amloplast stores carbohydrates, starch, example potato, elioplast store oils and fats, whereas eluroplast store proteins. Majority of the chloroplast of the green plant are found in the mesophyll cells of the leaves. These are lens shaped, oval, spherical, discoid or even ribbon like organelles having variable length 5 to 10 micrometer and wide 2 to 4 micrometer. Their number varies from 1 parcel of Chlamydomonas, a green algae to 20 to 40 parcel in mesophyll. Like mitochondria, the chloroplasts are also double membrane bound of the two. The inner chloroplast membrane is relatively less permeable. The space limited by the inner membrane of the chloroplast is called the stroma. A number of organized flattened membrane sacs called the thylakoids are present in the stroma. Figure 8.8 Thylakoids are arranged in stacks like a piles of coins called grana, singular granum or the integral thylakoids. In addition, there are flat membranous tubules called the stroma lamellae connecting the thylakoids of the different grana. The membrane of the thylakoids enclose a space called a lumen. The stroma of the chloroplast contains enzymes required for the synthesis of carbohydrates and proteins. It also contains small double standard circular DNA molecules and ribosomes. Chlorophyll pigment are present in the thylakoids. The ribosomes of chloroplasts are smaller 70s than the cytoplasmic ribosomes 80s. 8.5.6 Ribosomes Ribosomes are the granular structure first observed under the electron microscope as a dense particles by George Palladay 1953 They are composed of ribonucleic acid, RNA and proteins and are not surrounded by any membrane. The eukaryotic ribosomes are 80S while the prokaryotic ribosomes are 70S. Each ribosome has two subunits, larger and smaller subunits. Figure 8.9 Ribosomes The two subunits of 80S ribosomes are 60S and 40S while that of 70S ribosomes are 50S and 30S. Here is Svedberg's unit standard for the sedimentation of coefficient. It is indirectly a measure of density and size. Both 70S and 80S ribosomes are composed of two subunits. 8.5.7 Cytoskeleton An elaborate network of filamentous proteinaceous structure consisting of microtubules, microfilaments and intermediate filament present in the cytoplasm is collectively referred to as a cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton in a cell are involved in many functions such as mechanical support, motility, maintenance of the shape of the cell. 8.5.8 .8, Cilia and Flagella Cilia singular cilium and flagella singular flagellum are hair-like outgrowth of cell membrane. Cilia are small structures which work like oats causing the movement of either the cell or the surrounding fluid. Flagella are comparatively longer and responsible for cell movement. The prokaryotic bacteria also possesses flagella but these are structurally different from that of the eukaryotic flagella. The electron microscopic study of cilium or the flagellum shows that they are covered with plasma membrane. Their code called the axoni possesses a number of microtubules running parallel to the long axis. The axoneme usually has nine double S of radially arranged peripheral microtubules and a pair of centrally located microtubules. Such an arrangement of axonemal microtubules is referred to as the 9 plus 2 RE. Figure 8.10. The central tubules are connected by bridges and is also enclosed by a central shelf. 
which is connected to one of the tubules of each peripheral doublet by a radial spoke. Thus, there are nine radial spokes. The peripheral doublets are also interconnected by linkers. Both the cilium and flagellum emerge from centriole-like structure called the basal body. 8.5.9 Centrosome and Centrioles Centrosomes is an organella using containing two cylindrical structure called centrioles. They are surrounded by amorphous pericentriolar material. Both the centrioles in a centrosome lie perpendicular to each other in which each has an organization like the cartwheel. They are made up of nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of tubulum protein. Each of the peripheral fibrils is a triplet. The adjacent triplets are also linked. The central part of the proximal region of the centriole is also proteinaceous and called the hub, which is connected with tubules of the peripheral triplets by radial spokes made of protein. The centrioles from the basal body of cilia or flagella and splindle fibers that give rise to spindle apparatus during cell division in animal cells. 8.5.10 Nucleus Nucleus as a cell organella was first discovered by Robert Brown as early as 1831. Later, the material of the nucleus stained by the basic dyes was given the name chromatin by Fleming. The interface nucleus, nucleus of a cell when it is not dividing, has highly extended and elaborate nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin. Nuclear matrix and one or more spherical bodies called nucleoli. Singular nucleolus. Figure 8.11. Electron microscopy has revealed that the nuclear envelope, which consists of two parallel membranes with a space between 10 to 50 nm, called the perinuclear space, forms a barrier between the materials present inside the nucleus and that of the cytoplasm. The outer membrane usually remains continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum and also obeys ribosomes on it. At a number of places, the nuclear envelope is interrupted by minute pores, which are formed by the fusion of two membranes. These nuclear pores are the passage through which the movement of RNA and protein molecules take place in both directions between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Normally, there is only one nucleus per cell. Variation in the number of nuclei are also frequently observed. Can you recollect names of organisms that have more than one nucleus per cell? Some mature cells even lack nucleus. Example, erythrocytes of many mammals and sieve tubes, cells of vascular plants. Would you consider these cells as leaving? The nuclear matrix or the nucleoplasm contains nucleolus and chromatin. The nucleoli are spherical structure present in the Nucleoplasm. The content of nucleolus is continuous with the rest of the nucleoplasm as it is not a membrane bound structure. It is a site for active ribosomal RNA synthesis. Larger and more numerous nucleoli are present in cell activity carrying out protein synthesis. You may recall that the interfere nucleus has a loose and indistinct network of nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin but during different stages of cell division cells show structural chromosomes in place of nucleus chromatin contains dna and some basic proteins called histones some non-histones protein and also rna a single human cell has approximately 2 meter long thread of DNA distributed among its 46 23 base chromosomes. You will study the details of DNA packaging in the form of chromosomes in class 12th. Every chromosome visible only in the dividing cells essentially has a primary construction or centromer on the side of which disk shaped structure called 
kinetic chords are present figure 8.12 chromosome with kinetic core centromere holds two chromatids of chromosomes based on the position of the centromere the chromosomes can be classified into four types figure 8.13 the metacentric chromosomes has middle centrosome forming a two equal arms of the chromosomes the sub metacentric chromosomes has centrum slightly away from the middle of the chromosome resulting into one shorter arm and one longer arm in the case of acrocentric chromosomes the centromere is situated close to its end forming one extremely short and one very long arm whereas telocentric chromosomes has a terminal centrosome figure 8.13 types of chromosomes based on the position of centromere sometimes a few chromosomes have non staining secondary constrictions at the constant location this gives the appearance of small fragment called the satellite 8.5.11 micro bodies many membrane bound minute vessels called micro bodies that contain various enzymes are present in both plant and animal cells thank you for being till the end i hope this has helped you if so give thumbs up like share comment save download and subscribe you can support us by following in other platforms that link is in the description well thank you see you later maybe never